In this video, we're going to talk about the latest news about the DJI Mini 5 Pro, including its release date, pricing, and other leaks. In a recent post, Maro Tandoy revealed this video, showing the Mini 5 Pro going through its startup process. The same video was also shared by Jasper Ellens, who added some very relevant information, such as the new release date set for September, and the surprising detail, that the Fly More combo might cost exactly the same as the current Mini 4 Pro. In this post, there's a link that directs to his blog, where he gives more details about this leak. He starts by explaining, that this animation was discovered by a beta testers, and was hidden inside DJI's software. The other piece of information is even more relevant, the new release date, which is expected to be September 16th. And, as is already tradition, a week before the launch, DJI usually drops a teaser, which should appear on September 9th. But once again, he warns that these dates are still just rumors, since DJI has not officially announced anything yet. This warning is very important, because some time ago, information leaked suggesting that the Mini 5 Pro would be released on August 7th, and that news created huge expectations in the market. However, as we were getting closer to that date, we were surprised by another post informing that the launch would be postponed. I believe DJI may have had to reorganize its release schedule, since rumors began to emerge that Insta360 was about to launch a drone in partnership with Anti-Gravity. At that moment, DJI probably realized it would be more strategic to launch a 360 camera, instead of a drone. And that's exactly what they did. On July 31st, they launched the Osmo 360 camera, featuring its innovative 1-inch square sensor. Now let's talk about pricing, because this is the most exciting news from this post. On a European website, a Mini 5 Pro, Fly More Combo, with the RC2 controller, was found listed at 1,129 euros. Currently, that's the exact same price as the Mini 4 Pro. So if this information isn't a mistake, it looks like DJI is going for an aggressive pricing strategy. Honestly, I was expecting a price increase, considering the new features this drone brings, such as the 1-inch camera, that rotates 225 degrees, and the front-facing LiDAR sensor. And still on pricing, we also got this leak revealing the prices of the Mini 5 Pro accessories. And the numbers are surprising, as some items are even cheaper than those for the Mini 4 Pro. The standard battery will be sold for $69, and it's likely this is the one that comes with the drone. It will provide 36 minutes of flight time and keep the drone's weight under 250 grams. This is confirmed by the sticker, which indicates that the drone belongs to the C0 class. The Battery Plus will be sold for $99, and this is very important information, as it's the first time we have confirmation that this drone will have two battery options. The charger will cost $49, a set of spare propellers will be $19, and the propellers with guards will be $69. This set is an innovation from DJI, as it's the first drone to feature quick-release propellers with integrated guards. Notice that the propellers have a distinctive design, with triangular surfaces at the tips. The guards also feature small flaps in strategic points, which are likely designed to help with lift and reduce noise. Previous leaks confirmed the main specifications, but we also got some surprising new details that were revealed in the Mini 5 Pro packaging. Check out this interesting detail, described on the Mini 5 box. The first piece of information is that this drone will be ultralight and foldable, but notice that DJI has now chosen not to highlight the weight, as they traditionally did with previous models. There are two reasons for this. The first is that we already know this model will have two types of batteries, so it will only remain under 250 grams with the standard battery, which provides 36 minutes of flight time. DJI even made a point of highlighting this feature on the packaging. 
The second reason is that weight no longer determines drone classification in some countries. With evolving regulations, drones are now being classified based on operational risk rather than weight. This flexibility in weight and flight time didn't surprise me because more than a month ago, a label with the drone specifications leaked, leading us to conclude that it will have two types of batteries. The Plus model will have a high-capacity battery, likely providing around 50 minutes of flight time, but it will exceed the 249 gram limit. The other battery will be lighter, keeping the drone within the 249 gram limit, and this is the standard battery that comes with this combo, offering 36 minutes of flight time. I made a very detailed video, covering everything about this topic. If you want to watch it, you can access it via the thumbnail I'll leave at the end of this video. This strategy by DJI, offering two battery options, aims to cater to all types of customers, from those who just want a practical drone, that stays within the C0 class to avoid bureaucracy, to those who prefer longer flight times, even if it means more weight and a change in category. This practice isn't new. It started with the Mini 3 standard, and due to its great success, it continued with the Mini 3 Pro and Mini 4 Pro. That's why DJI decided to maintain this flexibility for the Mini 5 Pro. Besides the weight and battery life, we also got three more pieces of information related to the camera. The first isn't new, but it confirms what we already expected, since previous leaks had predicted that this drone would have a larger camera, with more features than the Mini 4 Pro. According to this leak, the Mini 5 Pro will indeed have a modern 1-inch sensor, capable of filming in 4K at 120 frames per second, making it the first drone in the Mini category, able to shoot cinematic slow-motion footage. This sensor should also greatly improve low-light image capture, expanding possibilities for creators to fully explore night scenes. The other camera-related item was a big surprise, confirming a possibility I mentioned in a video I made two months ago, that the Mini 5 Pro might be able to rotate its camera beyond 90 degrees. A feature that was very popular on the Mini 3 and 4 was the ability to rotate the camera vertically, allowing creators to produce content perfectly suited for social media formats. However, after the launch of the Mavic 4, this functionality reached a new level, as its camera offers infinite rotation, enabling stunning 360-degree footage. This was a predictable trend, since even the small Osmo Pocket already has a 360-degree gimbal, enabling cinematic footage. Unfortunately, the Mini 5 Pro will not be able to rotate 360 degrees, because that would require redesigning the entire drone, creating a new design capable of accommodating an infinite gimbal mechanism, essentially turning the Mini 5 into a compact version of the Mavic 4. This will likely be the solution DJI adopts for a future Mini 6. However, as described on the packaging, the Mini 5 Pro will be able to rotate 225 degrees, so we can conclude that DJI did everything possible to provide maximum freedom for the camera rotation. This movement will be two and a half times greater than the rotation of the Mini 4 Pro, because in addition to allowing vertical shots at 90 degrees, it will also enable fully inverted shots at 180 degrees. And it will rotate even further, reaching 225 degrees. The next item was also an unexpected surprise. The Mini 5 Pro's camera will feature a medium telephoto mode with a 48 mm focal length. We don't have much information about this new feature yet, but it will likely provide a 2x optical zoom, which will be ideal for framing subjects in the scene without having to move closer physically and possibly without losing quality. Additionally, it should retain the other features of the Mini 4 Pro camera, including the 24mm wide-angle lens and 3x digital zoom, but now with a 1-inch sensor quality, which will make a big difference in low-light environments, such as during sunset or nighttime shots. The next item had already been revealed in the first leak, 
the Mini 5 will feature a modern obstacle detection and avoidance system with a front-facing LiDAR sensor, which greatly improves efficiency, especially in low-light environments. This is a new trend that became even more evident after the launch of the Mavic 4, where it was revealed that the new high-resolution fisheye-type sensors are 625% better, and their new positioning reduced blind spots by 66%. The sensors on the Mini 5 seem to be in the same position as those on the Mini 4, but they are expected to be more modern and efficient, mainly because the big difference will be in image processing, which is likely to have improved significantly with the help of artificial intelligence, allowing the drone to identify obstacles to avoid and targets to follow with greater precision. And speaking of targets, the last item on this list is about that, but it's not a new feature as it already existed in other drones in the Mini line, Active Track. This feature is used to follow runners, cyclists, and other moving subjects. It was probably mentioned on this packaging because it has likely undergone a major update, making the feature smarter and more precise, preventing the drone from losing track when subjects pass behind obstacles that partially block them. Another feature that has been widely discussed and appeared in prototypes since the first leak, is the stronger ventilated motors. However, in this image, the first high-quality leak, we can clearly see that the motors are in closed type. We don't know if the final version will be like this, but we can confirm that at least the propellers feature a quick-release system, which is much better than the Mini 4, where the propellers are attached with screws. Now that we have the new release date, and know that it will be priced similarly to its predecessor, we can conclude that the Mini 5 Pro will be the most powerful and cost-effective compact drone of all time. Now all that's left is to control our excitement and wait a few more days for its launch. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.